Right here in front of me is Apple's new M2 Mac Mini. This starts at $599 in the US and $649 in the UK. We're going to unbox it, break down the specs and features. Hi everyone, my name is Monty and welcome back to Inside Wire. If you're new here, welcome. And if you're returning, well, welcome back. First, what we're going to do is jump straight in and go ahead and unbox this. This is the Mac Mini right here. As always, Apple's packaging is very aesthetic and easy to use. So we go ahead and get the pull tabs if you want to listen to this. And we have a second one too. I have to say there's something definitely pleasing about opening Apple products. There's a lot of thought that goes into the way these are packaged. So we've had the look at the box. We've opened that up. We have the black pull tab just here. At the back, we have the base that we had previously and we have the sealed ports on the side just here. So we'll come back to those. We have the design in California as you come to expect and I'm assuming there's a sticker in here. So last year the pro versions came with, and this was the Mac Studio, but the pro versions came with the black one and even the MacBook Pros. This one's come with a silver, this is the M2 model. We have a Mac Mini guide, safety guidelines and something else. And we have the matching black plug to go with it. So a lot of thought goes into Apple's product design, so this goes ahead and matches with this as well. The design of this is ever so slightly different from last year's model, being 0.2 centimeters taller, and the M2 Pro version is actually 0.1 kilos heavier. The processor now has two options as opposed to just the M1, we have the M2 and the M2 Pro, so you don't need to splash out on that Mac Studio when you can get it all right here in the Mac Mini. So on the back right here we have the I.O, so let's take this tab off. This shows us all the I.O that is on the M2 version, so we have the power button on the left, the power lead, we have a 1 gig Ethernet port, we have two Thunderbolt 4 ports, a HDMI port and two USB 3 ports, and also a headphone jack. There's also some fans here right here with to allow some cooling. I think this model is going to be really good value for money, so do hit the subscribe button and the bell as I'll be putting this through the motions to see how it stands up in the real world tests. Now the M2 version that you see here has two Thunderbolt ports on it, however the M2 Pro version has four Thunderbolt ports so keep that one in mind when you are choosing a model. Both of these can be upgraded to 10 gig Ethernet so if you want to future proof your Mac or need that higher performance network for video editing for example, that upgrade might be a no brainer. It now has Wi-Fi 6E, now I mentioned in my reaction video but I think Wi-Fi 6E is coming more mainstream. However, I wouldn't say that it's going to be around for a long time because companies have already started talking about Wi-Fi 7 and there are some products coming in at Q1 and Q2 of this year. I'm hoping to review some of them so you know what you need to do. You can have two displays plugged into this model, one via HDMI which is just here and one Thunderbolt. The HDMI supports 4K at 60Hz and the Thunderbolt supports up to 6K at 60Hz. If you have the Pro model, you can actually have three displays and that one from the Thunderbolt actually being 8K so the price starts at $649 in the UK and $599 in the US as I mentioned at the start but the Pro model I have spoken about also in this video is $1299 US and $1399 UK. But let's talk performance of the Mac Mini. This model is the M2 version, it has an 8 core CPU, 10 core GPU and a 16 core neural engine, 20 billion transistors, that's 25% more than the M1 and gives 50% more bandwidth. In terms of upgrade options, you can configure up to 24 gig of RAM in this and two terabyte hard drive, but keep in mind with those specs, you come to an eye-watering $1,900 or nearly 2,000 pounds. At this point, we would discuss moving to the M2 Pro model. We saw the performance of the Mac Mini last year and it gave some pretty impressive scores. I can only imagine the performance of this Mac Mini. It's only going to get better. This Mac Mini for me is the perfect entry-level machine into the Apple world and it will happily do your everyday productivity tasks. It will also go as far as video editing and gaming, however in my next video I'll put this to the test and see how far we can push them. Let me know down in the comments if there's anything specific you want to run in terms of tests and I'll try and add them in in my next video. I hope you found this video useful, this is Inside Wire and I'll see you in the next one.